Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do the other piece of the new Bombshell Cosmetica collection that I have purchased, which is the Oh Hubba Hubba palette. Let's see if I can actually say Hubba Hubba the whole time and not Hubba Bubba. <laughs> so this is the other palette I picked up. They did have three. I only picked up this one and the Sour Blast palette. This is what the Hubba Hubba palette looks like. It's a bit more of a kind of softer muted color story, but it's actually really pretty. Obviously you can see it on my eyes. And of course I will have the Sour Blast video linked up above if you haven't already watched that one. Um, for this palette, it kind of, I wasn't sure what direction I wanted to go in at first. I really obviously was drawn to the oranges. I was drawn to the purples. I thought about doing two looks and then somehow I just kind of like worked it all out in my head and ended up deciding to use every color in the palette on my eyes. And I actually really love the way that it turned out. I think this is kind of like the perfect palette for doing that because they all really go together nicely. So I've never done that before, but I guess you could say this is my first every color in the palette video. Before we get into the look, I did want to touch on a couple of real quick things that I didn't talk about in my last video. First off is the price. I totally forgot to mention it in my last video. So these little palettes retail for $50, but Bombshell Cosmetica always has like a 50% or a 60% off coupon code somewhere. Usually it's listed at the top of their website. When they did the release of this, the code was candy and it was actually still active as of like a couple weeks ago. So I don't know if it still is. They may have changed it to a different code now, but I would say if you're going to get it, get it with a discount. Do not pay full price for it because they seem to always be doing 50 or 60% off. So I kind of feel like if you pay full price, you're kind of getting a crappy deal by doing that. So definitely do the 50% off. And that way, if you want to buy more than one of the palettes, you don't feel so bad about doing it. Or like if you wanted to get some of the lashes. The other thing I wanted to mention is there have been some issues with this release and there have been some pretty upset customers by it. So I don't want to kind of gloss over that because it is an issue. Um, so Bombshell Cosmetica obviously is an indie brand. They are a small brand. This is the second release that they've done that I've purchased from. They um, did a pre-order release of their Candylicious palette a while back and I pre-ordered that and I got it with no problems. With this release, the pre-order opened up in November. It was like November 23rd. And when you did that, all of their communication said that it was going to be shipping within seven to 15 business days. Well, Whatever happened, I don't know, and I don't think they've really specified it. They clearly ran into some kind of manufacturing issues, but seven to 15 days definitely did not happen. I just got my palette maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago. There are people that still haven't received their palettes. There are people that got their palettes two weeks before I did. Um, and funny enough, I kind of ran into a little issue on my own where I thought I hadn't actually placed the order because I couldn't find my order confirmation. So I ended up placing another order and buying the two palettes and it turns out I did really order it. So needless to say, I ended up with two boxes showing up on my doorstep. So the point of that is <laughs> to say that I have doubles. I have two Hubba Hubba palettes and I have two of these Sour Blast palettes. So what I decided to do is I'm gonna put them into a giveaway. I'm getting really close to hitting 5,000 subscribers and I haven't done a giveaway since I hit 1,000 subscribers. So I thought it would be fun to do a 5,000 subscriber giveaway and I'll do kind of like I did last time where I include just a bunch of fun indie brand items because there are some really amazing ones out there. Um, and because I do really like both of these palettes and now I have duplicates, I'm gonna put both of these palettes in the giveaway. So make sure you're subscribed and of course, make sure you've got the notification bell checked. That way you'll actually see when I post my, my videos. Um, I am gonna start trying to post three videos a week. We'll I'm hoping to try to do that next week. But yes, as soon as we hit 5,000 subscribers, I will do a giveaway and these two palettes will be included in it. So this whole release definitely hasn't gone the best for them. Clearly they had some kind of production issue and they kind of disappeared for the month of December. It didn't really say anything. And then all of a sudden in January, like second or third or something, they were like, oh, we're starting to ship product, blah, blah, blah. And that was when they started kind of like posting on Instagram again. And I think at that point they had a lot of people kind of irritated, people that had been asking where their products were, people that had expected it to be there before Christmas and they weren't replying to anybody. So they definitely had a lot of upset customers. And even now, I think they're not really replying to everybody. I think they're trying their best to reply to their DMs, but I mean, obviously, you know, it's a small company, so they're probably getting a lot. Um, so I did just want to kind of touch on that. I know there's a lot of people that are irritated out there that have already ordered these products. Um, I do really like them. So if you have ordered them, I think you won't be disappointed. I will say that they did post on their Instagram that they won't be doing any more pre-orders. So that's good. I'm hoping they've also kind of learned a lesson out of this, like about communication and what their customers expect, because I think companies underestimate how understanding customers can be 
when there's proper communication. I think all of us understand that smaller companies can, can kind of hit a roadblock, have some hiccups or whatever, but that constant communication is really important. And there've been a lot of indie brands lately that haven't been so great about that communication. And the customers are not shy about letting them know that it irritates them. So I'm hoping that they're kind of like taking all that feedback and they're listening and that they will apply it to future releases because I think that they can do some really great things. I like their products, I like the creativity. So I'm curious to see what else they come out with in the future and I'm glad that they're not going to do any more pre-orders. So hopefully if they run into any production issues in the future, they will immediately communicate that to their customers that there's going to be some kind of delay because that usually stops people from being pissed off for the most part. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I wanted to touch on. I just kind of wanted to make sure I didn't gloss over the issue because it is an issue and I did have some comments on my last video and I totally understand the frustration that people are feeling here. So um, I want to still show you guys the product. I do think it's a beautiful product and I've got faith that hopefully they've learned a lesson here and they'll be a little bit better with their communication in the future. So uh, let me go ahead and show you guys the swatches and then I'll show you how to get this look. Okay, so we have peaches, green apple, sweet, orange, blast, tart, sour, bubblegum, chewy, jolly, grape, and strawberry. These are all a lot prettier than I was expecting. I love the way they swatched. Um, some of the mats I definitely did have to build up and do two or three kind of layers, especially like this green apple shade, super sheer. I think over a white base, it would be pretty. Um, these shades needed a little bit of building as well. I was very impressed with these oranges and this kind of beautiful peach tone. I love this color. Actually, I love all four of the shimmers. The gold, I mean, it's gold, but these three right here, they're pretty beautiful. So these are all the swatches. All right, primer is down and I've left it tacky. I'm gonna use this little detailed brush to go into three different shades. We're gonna go to orange, chewy, and then grape. I'm just gonna place these right into the crease. So orange first. then into Chewy. And last into Grape. And I'm gonna connect Grape to the lower lash line, just kind of like a little, little triangle, little V. So now with this tiny little detail brush, I'm gonna start using the lighter shades. So Sweet will go over Orange, Peaches will go over Chewy, and then Jolly will go over Grape. So just like this, just gonna kind of blend lightly over the top, kind of blending them out a little bit. Then Peaches. I do kind of mix Peaches a little bit with Chewy just because it is a bit lighter. It's not like an exact match for the other one. Okay, and then Jolly over the top of grape. So that kind of just starts getting them blended out. As you can see, it definitely has a lot more of a blend on this side. So I'm just gonna keep working back through all of those until I'm happy with the blend. And if I need to, I'll mix like the two shades together. So like the two purples, this one and this one, and this one and that one, if I need to do that, just to kind of fix the color a little bit, so. And sometimes I like to take a little bit of the first color and layer it over the other one. I've got a little bit of orange and I'm just gonna very lightly drag over the top of the pinker shades. And then taking a little bit of peach, very, very lightly flick it over the top of the purple. Not much, it's just that subtle little bit. I feel like just helps the blend. All right, I'm pretty happy with all this. All right, so now into the shimmers. So for the shimmers, I'm literally using all of them. <laughs> so I'm gonna start out with strawberry on my finger and I'm just going to place this right on the outer portion. And I like to use kind of like a diagonal. I like the way that looks with my eye shape. Okay, and next up is going to be bubblegum, this one right here. I love this shade. And that, I'm gonna kind of overlap them a little bit. And then into Tart, again, overlapping a bit. And that's as far as I'm going to go using my finger. I'm gonna do the brush for the rest of the way, but I am gonna kind of go back, back down the line just to kind of blend. So make sure that I didn't lose too much of bubble gum. And of course, make sure that strawberry is still there on the end. So you see how they start to kind of blend together. 
So next up, I'm gonna use a flat angled brush. I am gonna spray this with setting spray and I'm gonna mix together Tarte and Blast and I'm gonna add that to the inner portion. And then with that same kind of brush with the setting spray, I'm just gonna go back over each of the colors just to make sure that this area where the crease is is nice and sharp as if we did a cut crease, but we're not gonna do one. Okay, so that's all for that part. Just to add a little bit of an accent, I am going to put some of my Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. This is the shade Volume from Urban Decay, and I'm just going to follow the crease area as if we had done a cut crease, even though we didn't. I feel like this just kind of helps add a little bit of separation and definition since we didn't do a cut crease. I'm going to stop at the purple. All right, now moving to the lower lash line, I'm going to use the shade Sour with a flat brush. I'm gonna spray this with setting spray, line the entire lower lash line. And then I'm gonna do two different things. I'm gonna start out with just green apple on a little pencil brush and run it underneath, and then I'm gonna to mix together green apple and sour the blue shade, just to kind of buff it out, because you'll see that green apple really doesn't stand out much on its own, um, it just adds the most subtle little hint of color. So I do feel like if you want to blend this down, you kind of have to mix the two together, but they are pretty together. And now I'm mixing the two together and just kind of blending down a bit. And then for the inner corner, I'm gonna just add a little touch of the blast shade, just a little bit. It's honestly, I need something brighter for what I like in an inner corner highlight, but that kind of just adds the little base down of the yellow tone. Then I'm gonna jump into the Be Sweet palette from Bombshell Cosmetica, and I'm gonna combo these two shades right here. This is Sweetie and Juicy. Both of them are just really bright, so I think they go really nicely with this look. All right, so that's it for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up off camera. Um, I'm gonna do a wing with the Black NYX Liquid Liner. I'm going to add some blue in the waterline. This is Electric Blue from NYX. And then I'm gonna add this pair of lashes from Bombshell Cosmetica. This is in the style Go Bananas. So this is what they look like. And then I'll be right back just to kind of finish up with some final thoughts. All right guys, so this is the finished look. So on my lips, I do have the Fenty Gloss Balm in Diamond Milk. What can I say, these Fenty Glosses are my favorite glosses. I just love the way they look with a colorful eye look. I mean, it's like my version of a nude. I think this turned out so fun and pretty. I'm really happy with the way that all the shadows work together. I did want to just kind of reiterate that with both this palette and the Sour Blast palette, I put down my primer and I left it tacky. And I really think that makes the biggest difference because when I swatch these shadows with my finger, the mattes do come off pretty sheer. But if you add that over a tacky primer, you can really get that color to grip and stand out because I think that these look really beautiful. And the shimmer formulas, the shimmer formulas are amazing. I love the shimmer formulas. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely really enjoy both these palettes. Like I mentioned, make sure you kind of use the whole tacky primer trick. I think that's the way that you're going to be the happiest with them if you bought them. Um, if you didn't buy them, don't forget also to make sure that you're subscribed and stay tuned for my 5,000 subscriber giveaway because both of these palettes the brand new duplicates over there, will be included in that giveaway along with some other indie brand goodies that I haven't quite figured out yet, but I'll find some good ones to put in there. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, of course, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and make sure you have the notification bell checked. Thank you guys for watching, bye.